Hi, I'm Pam Bernard, Chair of the Faculty Display Committee. I'm in one of our main lecture rooms in the Faculty of Education with Cambridge Curiosity and Imagination Director Ruth Sapsett and I'm very excited to introduce you to a new collection that we have on display involving children across Cambridgeshire. Can you tell us about this project, Ruth? Yeah, these maps that we've displayed here are from our fantastical Cambridgeshire project that we've been creating with children in communities in Cambridgeshire for the last couple of years. So I'll, I'll quickly just introduce you because what we've got is we've got the map created by Offord Primary School, which is extraordinary because they were fascinated by the dark, the children here. So that's got a really dark tone and it's got brilliant questions like, why is the night time so loud? This is the map created by Ainsbury Primary School, which is right in the middle of St. Neots. They spent time exploring their church, which is on their doorstep, but also the canal boats and the water and the greenery around them. And then finally, we've got this map, which is from the Love's Farm Estate on the edge of St. Neots, which was cre created by the Roundhouse Primary Academy children. And they, they did this extraordinary thing where they talked about how would the giant that is part of the legends of St. Neots have a... Um, uh, play equipment that was big enough for him, hence they created this wonderful rainbow big enough that he could skip with. And they went out to Love's Farm and they talked about the street names. And so these are the maps that came together from that project. Fantastic. And coming into this room, we have international students, national students, regional students, all wanting to understand and be introduced to the region and the place of Cambridgeshire. And also they do place-based research. So these children who are artists in their own right, mapping and engaging with the representation of our region is so exciting to have and displayed in our faculty. Can you tell us about who was involved in this project, please, Ruth? Well, the who is the three primary schools that yeah. I would just introduced you to, but importantly, it's, it's about the children, classes of children were exploring with CTI artists and they were planning their own creative ventures. They were thinking where they wanted to go uh, to explore what was on their doorstep. So they were leading the adventures. Really important that they led they, their, these adventures. Exactly. They were creating work in response to these adventures. But then we were able to bring through community events, um, adult, other families and other people who lived around the communities to respond to the children's ideas so that we were building up these layers, these so many layers of both real and imaginary journeys and memories and stories and about what's on the How did the artists get involved here? How were the, your, your Cambridge Curiosity and Imagination artists in this co-creative process? How were they involved? So they were introduced to the school and then they would sit with the children and talk about what is it that the children mm. think about that's important in, in, in literally about what's mm. on their doorstep. So the artists planned with the children where they would be going. Mm. Very exciting. And then there was a, a digital process. Can you tell us briefly about the digital process that, that took all of that process into yeah. a place that ended with these beautiful displays. So what happens is that these layers of knowledge and these layers of discovery and memories are built up over the workshops that go on in the yeah. school day, over the community events. Yeah. So we have this vast amount of work. And then we bring along a, a, this amazing illustrator that we've met who was trained here in Cambridge. So she brings together all these these images into this digital um, map. So she layers them together. So each map has probably got at least 150 layers where she's layered together, bringing them into a map that is real because that is the shape of the roads around Ainsbury, but also is fantastical because it's brought in all the kind of imaginary. And areas. as a digital illustrator, uh, is, is, uh, this, uh, what's her name? Elena Arevalo Melville. Okay, there were many, many layers, wasn't You mentioned a figure. How many? Yeah. Well, at least 125 in each. Some have got more, some have got some, some are up to 200. Mm -hmm. So it really captures a community uh, representation, but initiated and led by uh, 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 children as artists and children using visual based practices to engage with nature. And on that tone, can we look at the origins, our fourth uh, uh, display over here, which was really marked the beginning of this project, didn't it? 
within the fantastical Cambridgeshire project. Okay. Another element is to think about these idea of wild exchanges that can go on. So this work comes from the Spinney Primary School, which yes. is literally down the road here from the faculty. And it's a primary school that is lucky enough to have an extraordinary little tangled wood on its doorstep. And what happens in the fantastical Cambridgeshire project is that we bring along other people to adventure with the children. And with the Spinney, we were lucky enough that the poet Jackie Kay, who's currently the Macker of, in Scotland, mm -hmm. so she's uh, like the Poet Laureate for Scotland, she came along and explored these woods with the children and then wrote wonderful poetry with the children, which we've been lucky enough to publish. So that the children wrote and wrote and wrote, and Jackie wrote, and then we were able to just extract some of the real highlights. Fantastic. And what happens here now is we will continue to celebrate these uh, beautiful pieces of, of art as well as really uh, uh, illustration of research which places the place in the foreground and we do teach research we teach place-based research we teach social science research and to actually have children representing their own research of place is a great privilege to share in the faculty so we welcome you to come and see this beautiful collection while they're up for the next year thank you